All right, ladies, here's a question for you. What does your jewelry drawer look like right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, I use, don't my, see I use my kitchen counter as a jewelry drawer and Topher hates it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is terrible. <laughs> yes. All right, we have Jennifer Prince here from Hill City Bride joining us to make a little jewelry dish, is yes, that right? Yes, exactly, that's exactly what and we're this making is what, today. This is it, right? It is. It's super cute, I want, it to, I want so everybody to look cool. at this, okay. And this is made out of clay? It is made out of clay. It looks really complicated, but I promise if you can like channel your inner preschool self, yes, you can yes. do it. Fun. I always channel my inner preschool self. <laughs> so let's do what we need. Yes, you will need, okay, this is um, clay. This is just modeling clay. You can get it at um, your local craft store. You can get it online. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a bakeable clay too. So okay. um, it comes in a lot of different colors. So that you can make any color that you really want that you can think of or you can mix colors if you want also. Um, and then just a few simple things that you'll need. You will need some paint. I chose gold metallic. Um, but you can yeah. choose any color paint that you would like. Mm -hmm. um, also, paint brushes and you get this? a knife. Um, just the local craft store. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just yeah. Everything up. I picked up yesterday. <laughs> That's me. I love things that are simple, easy, budget friendly, and that you can do super quickly. That's so, why we love you. Okay. Yeah, yes. Exactly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to start out with some um, natural looking colors. I mean, this we're trying to mimic kind of like a marbled look, but yet have some fun with it too. So yes. I chose um, gray, beige, black, and white. And what you need to do is just, um, it's really nice because they come with these striations. So my school of thought is basically like double the amount of white for any other color that you're using. So okay. you'll need two of white and then I also like to use black, silver, and the beige. And then I'm adding purple in there today. And then all you do, literally, you know the little like snakes that you used to yes. make in preschool? Yes. <laughs> I can you just do that. roll, roll, roll. Yeah, your daughters will just love to make this. Yes, you can. So once you're done, um, I just like to come up with some strips that are uh, kind of like equal in length. Mm -hmm. And then just, it's scary, not really, but you know, it's like you don't want to like, I just made these things, but just kind of press them together, um, squish them, and then twist them, and then just you kind of just play around with it, just literally like if you, you know, as you were a kid, you just keep twisting. Because what you're doing is you're not wanting to mix the colors. Obviously, you don't want to end up with one block of color. Right. But you're going to want to twist it and turn it and then form a little ball is what you're going to do. Okay. And then um, my instructions say rolling pin, but I'm sorry, I don't use the rolling pin for anything. No. <laughs> I don't even no. have a rolling pin at home. Can so I actually, yeah, I used, um, I think a measuring cup yes. or something like that. So what you're going to want to do is take something and you're going to flatten this out. And once you do, you're going to end up with this over here. Oh, okay. Isn't that beautiful? That yes. is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's so pretty. And then I just used a biscuit cutter and I just cut it out um, just in a circular shape. You will also need, I mean, depending on the size bowl that you want to use, um, whatever you want to do to mimic the shape. So I would um, do something oven safe or just lay it in there and get the shape and then take it out because you don't want to be obviously baking it right. in your oven. Right. Um, these do bake at 275. Um, for every quarter inch, you do 15 minutes and not to over bake it. So I just utilized this and pressed it in there. Um, I baked it for about 15 minutes because this is a quarter of an inch. And then once you're done, you just can take it, and I just, I really think that the gold adds that finishing yes. little touch to it. Mm -hmm. And then all these ladies that are getting engaged and have beautiful rings to show off, um, it just gives them a little special place to be able to put their ring when they are done. Um, just, so super yeah, cute, isn't it? Jennifer, it's so, thank you so, so much. easy. And we can go online, hillcitybride.com for yes. more information. Mm -hmm.